Good morning traders. This is a video update on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris Forsick from Elite Currency. Before taking a look at those markets, I wanted to let you know about the Rush EA fully automated trading system from Mislav Nikolic, now available on uh, ECS. And uh, well, at Elite Currency, you can find the rental and profit share option. Check out this page for all the details, uh, stats and information, how to start and what, it, you know, what the EA is about. All right, now let's move on to the euro dollar. Euro dollar uh, facing a very strong, big resistance at the 21 EMA zone. And you can see how difficult it is for price to break above that. Uh, you can see already from the beginning of September, there was no close above the 21 EMA high. All right, so when going to the upside, I think we need obviously a close then in that case, a daily close above the 21 EMA high. That certainly would help confirm the breakout to the upside. But we got to be careful too, because if it does break, we're certainly also running into head and shoulders resistance levels there around 119 and 120. So we'll have to see how price, if price can break through that. There's clearly an ABC here. This starts to look like an A uh, as well. So we still might get a B and, and a C, or is that a one, two, three? All of that will depend on if price or how price reacts, I should say, to the minus 61.8 target of 119.25 because wave C typically goes either to the minus 272 target or the minus 61.8 target. Whereas a wave three would start to break above that minus 61.8 target. So that is a key zone of resistance that would de determine whether we're looking at an ABC and, and an ABC and then maybe a, a bigger ABC like this and a potential five waves down to complete the red C or whether this is just the ABC and that's it. And we're looking at, a, you know, an uptrend. So for the meantime, uh, price, if it does dip down, I think should bounce at the 61.8 FIB. Uh, 50 fib, 61.8, 78, 88, all of those are potential bouncing spots. If this is an A or a 1, and this is a B or a 2, and up for 3 or a C. Now, will price make that dip, or will it break to the upside? I don't know, to be honest. I think that what I'm looking for, I'll tell you what I'll look for, uh, is here on the outer chart, it does look like actually five waves completed. 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5. So yeah, from that point of view, an ABC pattern back to these fibs actually on our chart seems decent probability. For that to be confirmed, uh, we need to see price uh, push through this fractal here at 117.25. And then I think there's a fair chance for price to get to these two fibs, the minus 61.8 target and the 61.8 fib or the minus 100 target and the 78.6 fib. Those two support zones, when it breaks this fractal, are, I think, uh, one of those two are likely to be the main targets, or both are the main targets, but one of those two are likely to be the bouncing spots for uh, that upside, and that's where one, two could change. Uh, sorry, one, two could be completed, or A, B could be completed. Now, if the price doesn't break through this fractal, I don't know, there is a potential head and shoulders. Uh, it's, it's a tough one, uh, in my view. Uh, we certainly have a very strong bearish candle. I think for upside, I'm leaning towards downside in this case, but for upside, I wouldn't rule out upside. We need to see price break above WIS 3 and WIS 4 for a continuation up to WIS 5 and WIS 6. And I think that if we get a strong push into, into this zone like that and a flag, uh, then the WIS 4 will become support and we could see a price move up to WIS 6 and uh, maybe WIS 7. That's a little bit, yeah, something like that. So into that minus 61 put a target zone. So yeah, break above 170. T90 is important for the bulls, I think, to confirm the immediate upside and not to get that deeper retracement. Looking at the pound USD, it is also testing the 21 EMA zone. Yesterday was a bearish candle, Big Mac D dot. I don't know. Those are just, you know, not necessarily entry signals all, all the time. Those are just warnings. But I think in this case, it's probably the same as the euro dollar. I think we're looking at the probably wave A. And here B and up for C or a one, two, three. Whether this blue B is finished remains to be seen. It could make an ABC in that and find support at the fib. So we can put the fib on the same swing like this. And uh, same fibs could be valid as support. Now, price will price make that dip? Depends on the hourly chart again as well. I think how price responds to the 21 May. Will it break flag and continuation or will it 
to the upside or whether to make a bearish break flag and continue lower. I think that is kind of key information at this moment. But uh, at this point, I would also here lean towards an ABC down at this point, although I don't think it's confirmed until price uh, breaks through the uh, long to moving averages here, at least at 128, 80-ish or so, I think, or 90-ish. Uh, for upside, I would really need to see that push up correction and, and follow through. Overall, I'm bullish. Yes, I do think that we will see inverted head and shoulders potentially here. And I think we'll see an upside and a bigger ABC or one, two, three, but not sure if it's now or a little bit later. I think a little bit later. That's it for now. Thank you for joining. Don't forget Rush EA and all the other EAs, of course, but Rush EA is the newest one. And uh, see you soon in the next videos. Cheers.